Okay, next one. If cos theta is equal to 5 by 30 and 270 less than theta less than 360, theta lies in the center well. Evaluate sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. We have to find that values. So, first of all, right given cos theta is 5 by 30 and the angle theta lies between 270 and 360. So, 270 less than theta less than 360. That means theta belongs to Q4. So, 270 and 360 work in the 4th quadrant. So, we have to say that the value is sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Theta by 2 is a quadrant. Here, we have to find the values of sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. To find these values, first of all, we have to verify whether in which quadrant theta by 2 lies. That is, <coughs> first of all. So, for that purpose, divide this inequality with 2. Theta by 2 is the equivalent of the first quadrant. Then, we have to divide 2 by 2. 270 by 2 less than theta by 2 less than 360 by 2. 270 by 2 means 135 degrees less than theta by 2. 360 by 2 means 180 degrees. Okay. Therefore, 135 to 180 that means theta by 2 belongs to second quadrant. So, 135 is the second quadrant. Second quadrant is from 90 to 180. 90 to 180 is the second quadrant. Here 135 to 180. So this one also belongs to second quadrant. Therefore, theta belongs to fourth quadrant and theta by 2 belongs to second quadrant. Now take sin theta by 2. The formula is square root of 1 minus cos theta whole by 2. So this is the formula to find sin theta by 2. 1 minus cos theta means it is given as 5 by 13, 1 minus 5 by 13 whole by 2. Then it becomes 13, 1, 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5 and this 13 goes to denominator. 2 into 13. 13 minus 5 means 8 by 2 into 13. 2 1 to 4 ja. Root 4 means 2 by root 13. So, this is sin theta by 2. But theta by 2 belongs to second quadrant. Since <coughs> theta by 2 belongs to second quadrant that implies sin is positive. Okay. So, I will tell you how fast to know theta by 2 and the choose check just Therefore, sin theta by 2. Now we have to confirm sin theta by 2 as 2 by root 13. Okay. <coughs> Next, cos theta by 2. Cos theta by 2 means root of 1 plus cos theta whole by 2. That is equal to root of 1 plus cos theta that is 5 by 13 whole by 2. So, 13 one 13 plus 5 18 and this 13 goes to denominator 2 into 13 2 one ja, 2 9 ja. root 9 means 3 by root 13. This is cos Theta by 2. Okay. <coughs> but theta by 2 belongs to second quadrant. Since theta by 2 belongs to Q2, that implies in second quadrant, cos is negative. Theta by 2 is the second quadrant. The second quadrant of cos is negative. Therefore, cos theta by 2 can be taken as minus 3 by root 13. 
and sin theta by 2 is 2 by root 13. So those are the values.